This is Patrick again from the 8-Track Tape Store, and what we're going to uh, work on next is opening uh, two tab cartridges. Um, and there's examples of, that, of, that, of those in front of me. They're all pretty much identical. The only difference is the color and the label. This is Columbia. This is a Warner cart uh, with the reprise label. And then this is um, A&M Records. Um, so before we start on the two tab cartridges, we're going to do a quick comparison again with what, what we opened in the first video. Um, what I just brought into the picture is a uh, three tab cartridge. And uh, the three tabs being this one here towards the top, and then two at the bottom in the corners. And if you compare that with um, the two tab cartridge, you've got the same uh, hole here. Now, it's a little hard to, to see with your naked eye, but it's actually a little smaller. Um, and you do not have the tabs in the corner. So you can see the difference, right? Two tabs here, nothing here. So what happened to those two tabs? Um, the answer is they were consolidated into one tab and it's placed right here under the label, uh, which is kind of annoying because it's a little harder to get to. Um, but that's the way it, the way it is. Um, we always use the, the, the largest screwdriver we can uh, when we insert into these types of holes. This one does not fit. You can see on the three tab cartridge it fit fine. Um, so this hole is a little smaller and we go down uh, to a smaller screwdriver, more, more of a pre precision screwdriver. And the way we're going to open that is to insert the screwdriver and the pressure, the tab moves that way, it moves towards the top. So we're going to force the screwdriver that direction, the head back, and uh, this will open very easily. And I'm going to use my, uh, my tummy as a brace, like I do a lot. And uh, it will, let's force it, and then we'll use our fingers to kind of pull that open. So there we go. So that first tab is open. And the second tab is uh, the whole jix of the, the problem. So I'm going to show you two ways to get to that. Uh, there's a hard way and an easy way. Um, the hard way is we're going to slide the cover back and attempt to open it that way. And the easy way is we go through the label. So uh, let's do it uh, the hard way first, which might be the way we do it in the shop. Um, we're going to slide this back and we're going to have to apply a certain amount of force. Um, and we'll see these two uh, sides, the top and the bottom of a cartridge, uh, sort of separate a little bit. And there's a click. And there we go. I'm going to turn it over. This cart is now open. And, um, you know, we need a new foam pad. That's obvious. We'll check the splice, et cetera, et cetera. We'll show all of that on another video. Um, so that is the way uh, to open it the hard way. And what I just did is not nearly as easy as it looks. So um, before we close this, let's go uh, to a different cartridge. And I'll show you the way that most people open these. This is a quad tape, so I don't really want to poke a hole in that. I'm going to set that aside. Um, here's Ray Conniff. Um, Ray Conniff, the great singer. Um, we will open this uh, first tab here the same way we did with the first cartridge. That's easy. And now, um, Instead of sliding this back, we're going to take a shortcut. And this is going to be, uh, I would definitely recommend if you're, you know, first starting at, at repairing tapes that you actually do it this way because it is much simpler and you'll have a, a feeling of satisfaction for sure. Um, the, the downside is you're going to poke a hole here. And this hole um, will usually go through one of the song titles, which isn't a big deal to most people. but for a perfectionist and certainly someone with a very expensive cart, you, know, you wouldn't want to do that. But um, we're going to use our finger. We're going to feel for the hole through the cart. Uh, I can feel an indentation there, and that's pretty obvious. So I'm going to insert my screwdriver right there. And we're going to do the same motion where we're driving the tab towards the top. 
and the head of the screwdriver will go towards the back. So um, like that, and we will pop it open, and there we go. Um, that was simple enough, um, and that is uh, not the end of this tape. I'm going to uh, go back to my first cart and show you how to close it. Um, so here we go. This is um, really easy to do. You're just going to put it back on pretty much the way you uh, you took it off. So we're going to pinch our um, our tape in a little bit to not crunch it. You're going to slide that over the tape, and this will now rest in the two tab holes. Um, and you're just going to slide it back and give it a little pop down. And now we have a cartridge that is uh, fully closed. And I hope you enjoyed this video. What we're going to work on next um, in the next video are five tab cartridges. Five tab cartridges look like this. They're very common. Uh, the tapes we just work on, these two tab cartridges, are not common. Um, maybe out of 100 tapes we see, we will have, um, you know, maybe three or four of these. Um, but uh, the five tab cartridges we're going to work on next are very common. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. This is Patrick from the 8 tape store.com.